take a closer look at how this massive security breach happened and what happens now to hold those responsible accountable. We're joined by ABC News contributor and former FBI special agent Brad Garrett. Uh, Brad, you were an FBI special agent. It's, it's no secret uh, that an agitated crowd would be marching to the Capitol. So how did law enforcement allow this to happen? Rioters entering the Capitol from multiple entrances. Well, what we don't know is if the Capitol Police actually wanted to do it a different way. For example, with that seven foot fence outside the ellipse where the barriers should have been yesterday. The problem is, is that we don't really know if the, if the, the Capitol Police wanted a different approach and the management on the Hill, the Congress told them otherwise. But the sheer volume of people that was there you needed basically the Capitol Police, the National Guard, uh, and probably other federal agents and uniform, Secret Service, et cetera, at that scene to make sure that nobody got inside the Capitol. And Brad, it's, it's Terry Moran. I'd, I'd like to ask you, based on your experience as a law enforcement veteran, what kinds of charges could these rioters face? And what's your view of the feeling that is very strong in the country right now, that if that crowd had been made up of people of color, you would have had a very different law enforcement preparation and response? So let's just start with the first one, Terry. I mean, there's an sundry of charges from there were pipe bombs, bombs found, there were weapons found, um, there's actually a federal statute that covers assaulting the Capitol and committing violence. And, and there may be other more serious charges potentially, because what were the motivations of these people? Were they just trying to make a statement? Were they seriously thinking that this could be sort of the first step of overthrowing the existing government? You know, and then you get into sedition, but you know, I'm not suggesting they're going to get charged with anything like that, but we'll have to see. And Brad, how vulnerable do you think we are to foreign attack right now, especially given our enemies, some of them are celebrating this, and the resignations that we're seeing in the administration? So I don't know that we're any more vulnerable. Both of you have to keep in mind that no matter who's in charge, who might be president, uh, who might be in Congress, that the people that do on the ground work from local law enforcement, city, county, state, FBI agents, fill in the blank, are out there doing the same job no matter what. Now, they may have management that direct them one way or the other, but I, I don't think, Diane, that it really makes us more vulnerable from the standpoint of somebody actually trying to come after us any more so than any given day. All right. Well, glad to hear that. Former FBI agent Brad Garrett, thank you as always. So thanks, Brad. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.